Hello everyone! I've uh, taken a trip out to a local water here in Norway. It's quite nice water and it's perfect for showing a new ability that will be introduced in the upcoming 4.2 version of the car pilot. So this new mode will enable you to use the app even if you don't have an autopilot built into your boat. Okay, so I have started the Car Pilot Pro. Um, it is already uh, set up to uh, connect over UDP for one of my regular boats. But I have uh, introduced a new GPS mode only. This is this option here. Uh, let's go into the settings and see what options we have. So if I long press here, I go straight into the settings. So we have made three different possible connections here to use a GPS that's inside the boat when the boat has no autopilot. So if you have a boat with an NMEA capable echo sounder inside, like Simrad, like Lorenz or like the Deeper, you can just use the configured echo sounder that you have in your boat and then drive and use the app as uh, normal. The boat I have brought me with me has a um, Raymarine Pro 5 inside and this has no um, this has no NMEA capabilities. So in order to make this boat work with the app, I'll put in a GPS and a small uh, Wi-Fi device and I will make a separate video to show you exactly how you build this and you should be able to build and have your boat ready uh, following this uh, video uh, in a, approximately one hour. Uh, so don't despair, I will show you exactly how you do it in a separate video. So I have built in a Wi-Fi capable GPS. So now I've selected that and I can go back and the app instantly now connects to the boat. So let's have a little look of what we have here. <clears throat> we have the ability to use points, uh, but you cannot touch them and expect that the boat will drive towards them. Uh, in GPS only mode, you obviously need to use your remote control. And there's only one mode available here. So if you push this, there is no, uh, nothing happening. The only mode available for driving is manual mode. That being said, there's a lot of good stuff here. You have the speedometer up here. You have the distance from home. And let's just talk about what home is. Uh, home is this red icon. And that's the tablet position. So right now my tablet is positioned straight at the bottom of the home icon. And then second, you have the boat here, the boat icon. This is where the boat is. So this is then the GPS position of the boat. And we still have all of the abilities using echo sounders. You can do live mapping, you can get the display here, over here, to show what's, oh, sorry, to show the depth. You have the GPS state, and right now I have fairly good conditions. Uh, HDOP of 0 0.9, it is not great, uh, but also not bad. I have 12 satellites, and right now, there's a 3D fix on the GPS. And to the right, we have a, a menu that will enable us to use points for this water. And right now, as you see down here, there are, uh, I have some old points and these are quite far, far away. So I'll just delete whatever was in the app from before. And now we're done. So, Let's turn the map so I can look into the water. 
So if you want to add a point here, you can either put a point where the boat is currently uh, positioned and then you use this blue plus icon down below. Just tap it and it will add a point at the boat position. If you do that by mistake or need to delete one point, you can just tap on a point and drag it down and it will disappear. So, and then obviously you can tap on the map and put points to where, where you want to do your fishing. Now, finally, we have a couple of buttons on the left side. This is the map chooser. It works exactly like when you use an autopilot. And you have this zoom uh, where you can zoom in on the boat position. It will then be in the middle here. And you can zoom into the mission, which are these three points. Yeah. And you can zoom in on my position as well. So let me put the boat into the water. Okay, so let's start driving. Now, how fast the icon moves will depend on your GPS settings. I have done nothing at all with the GPS. It's just installed as it came out of the package. And then a boat will then typically, or a GPS will then typically have an update of one update of position for every second. I'm going to drive a little around here. And I can also see the boat moving. I can see the uh, Raymarine screen. So say you want to put, you find some cool feature here out in the water. I got a little a little vegetation. Let me put a point here. So say you want to fish on the spot number four. And you want to see how far you are away. Then you can just tap on point number four. And it will show the remaining distance. That's far enough. Now I can use my remote control and release the bait. When you put in a point you can remove it again by just pushing this third button here on the left side. So it goes back home. Now, maybe we could give it a go with uh, some live mapping. So I'm going to start live mapping and I'm going to call this my test. My test. That's good. And I'm going to do it quite fine detail. And let's see how this works. So there we are, GPS only mode.
no longer autopilot required in the new version of CarPilot Pro. Okay, thanks guys.